My job market paper is the first paper to try and quantify uh, the equilibrium impacts of alternative mortgage designs, which index the value of the mortgage to local house prices. These types of mortgage designs protect the borrower from negative equity by offering a form of risk insurance against house price depreciation. These mortgage contracts also share in the capital gains and house price appreciation between the borrower and the lender on the upside. Using an equilibrium model of housing and mortgage markets, I study the equilibrium impact of these alternative mortgage designs on equilibrium house prices, mortgage interest rates, and consumer welfare. In the model, there is a single unit price for housing, and there is a competitive lender that provides mortgages to the entire market at a single interest rate. The consumers in the model take the house price and the mortgage interest rate as given, and then they optimally decide how much housing to purchase. In equilibrium, the house price and the mortgage interest rate are set so that the demand for housing by the consumers clears with the supply of housing, and so that the expected returns to the lender on the market's mortgage portfolio is equal to the lender's outside option. A unique feature of my model that is not captured by most other models in the housing literature is that the incentives of the consumers and the lender explicitly are affected by the structure of the mortgage contract. So this is what allows me to study the effects of alternative mortgage designs. The model is then estimated using a rich micro data set on housing transactions from the Los Angeles metropolitan area. I then perform counterfactual simulations in which all of the mortgages in the data are converted to my alternative mortgage design and new equilibrium prices and interest, mortgage interest rates are computed. I find that in the counterfactual, my alternative mortgage design allows lenders to lower their interest rates by 1.5 to 3 percentage points, indicating that allowing the lender to share in the capital gains from house price appreciation is more than enough to offset the cost of the insurance on the downside which is being provided to the borrower. In my counterfactual, I also find that consumer welfare is improved by an equivalent variation of about $7,000 per household per year. Because the lender in my model is competitive, all of the surplus from changing the mortgage contract accrues to the consumer. So my model suggests that mortgage contracts which share the house price risk between the borrower and the lender can significantly improve housing and mortgage market efficiency. More broadly speaking, my model offers a general framework to think about the interactions between mortgage markets and housing markets. Because I explicitly model the incentive of the lender in the mortgage market, my model is ideal for studying how institutional changes to the mortgage market translate to housing market outcomes. This is an area of significant theoretical, empirical, and policy interest. <laughs>